Well, I'm going to my next truck here, and every time I want to use this thing, it sets for a while. I get a buzzer and I just don't want to start. Uh, a lot of times I take the keys out because I don't want them to be touched. I want to make sure the systems are out. But I don't go very far with them in case there's a fire. Uh, I always got everybody trained to keep the keys. So here I got three more batteries to replace. So already this year I've replaced one in the car, two in the pickup truck. Um, that tractor, the lawnmower, with five, six, seven, eight. Uh, last year I got them two tractors, nine, ten. Um, the B I replaced it before last year, so that's twelve. Now I'm going back thirteen. So that's thirteen. Oh, and the four wheeler, so that's fifteen. There's fifteen batteries uh, right there, and then I got another older, two other tractors that have two six volt batteries that are replaced. So that's 17, 18. So I've going through quite a few batteries. I think these batteries cost about $130 a piece. And that's what basically all the heavy truck and tractor batteries are looking at. And I might have to replace some on that international tractor over there. And they're going out faster than I think they should. You know, they, they should last longer than three years. I had another truck that had a battery on it for eight or nine maybe that was unusual uh, but it just seems like the batteries are going down faster I just don't get the life out of them um, like you used to we do take the old ones back and recycle them and I save the other ones that I might take to the junkyard they might give me a few bucks for um, on that but the point of it is uh, geoengineering the weather out here we're having some extreme stuff. I don't know if it has that exact part of it, but I'm kind of making this video just kind of curious if there's other people on that. So, I mean, if you do, write in comments on it. Uh, believe me, I do know how to clean these battery cables. This, this has been cleaned last week. It don't take much for them to curl it up. And I loosened the bolts. I was going to take them out uh, here really quick. Uh, being on it. Uh, some of them are nice enough to have handles. There's sometimes uh, probably looking at this. Now I've got three different kinds of batteries in here. I bought this truck used so it's basically the used battery. So look at all the cables and stuff and all the all the wiring and, and uh, uh, junk here. So uh, more than likely, whoever is at the used truck lot, they probably change different batteries. So when, when you have a battery, a uh, bunch of batteries, you need to replace them all. Because if you have one good one, the next bad one will go down right away. And battery people tell you to change all of them. And I, I do believe in that. So the, the other thing, too, is you got to kind of remember where to put all this stuff. So I gotta set this here, put that one there, put that one there. Make sure I don't lose all the stuff. You need to kind of keep an idea how you had that. So I'll set that one there. And this is on there. And this is here. And that's there. This one here. They weigh about. 30 to 5 to 40 pounds a piece. I'm gonna, this one weighs more. Ugh. Oh, I got every every brand you can think of in here. Now this one's got a handle. Mm. This one looks kind of bad because it's starting to bulge out. That's another sign. But having three different kinds of batteries in the truck, uh, that ain't a good sign. It's time to replace it. The, the thing about it is, if you got dead batteries and you got it in the shed and it's struck by lightning, you need to get it started to move uh, or get out of the way for a certain reason. Uh, or out in the field or you got to stop and run with jumper cables that gets old so 
I'm kind of letting people know that what we got to go through all the time on this and, and I'm getting tired of changing batteries is what I'm telling you. Um, and uh, if the weather's got something to do with it, we need to change. So I mean these are, these are some environmental issues uh, on it, but in this case here having three different batteries, I almost bet my bottom dollar that one of them was bad. And, and basically I bought this truck used and to make it work, I guess they changed you know all the batteries or whatever it's kind of weird that you got three different kinds um, on it and that's not a good thing so when I put new batteries in all three will be the same so we'll kind of go from there